Hello, Brother Monero here, and welcome back to City Skylines. Uh, and today, another tutorial. And today, what we're going to be looking at is the same junction we were looking at before. So here it is with its uh, timed traffic lights I set up in the last episode. So all we're going to do is we're going to ruin this entire neighborhood. And we're going to put in something completely different. So... Uh, just, I'm just only going to use the stock roads. I do use a lot of mods on uh, Skylines, but um, I'm just going to use the stock stuff today. Um, so two six-lane roads meeting like this. Okay. Um, and you'll see why I'm using six-lane roads in a minute. Now, this is a very common uh, thing for people to do, and I think it's fair to say most people are aware that in the real world, you... If you've got a junction like this and you've got heavy traffic you often want a roundabout instead of traffic lights because it allows uh, the traffic to flow more easily now there's lots of things you can uh, do uh, with this but um, one of the best things to get is uh, a couple of mods one is TMPE which I used for the last um, video you may remember and the other one is this very handy little tool here the Roundabout Builder. Um, brilliant little mod um, that lets you put down perfect circles, basically. <laughs> um, so we'll expand it out to about there, and we're going to make this a three-lane highway with sound barrier. Okay, so this is all stock. Boom, in it goes. Now, obviously we'll need to uh, take out the buildings. quite upset but now we have a lovely roundabout now roundabout builder does have the ability to um, set up your roundabout by itself in theory um, and if you're wondering why I'm upgrading the roads again it's just to get rid of the parked cars because this is a lot easier to explain without those right so very simple Four directions, all onto one highway. Um, six lane, six lane, six lane, six lane, and a three lane roundabout. So this is important. So your roundabout, you've got three lanes coming in, three lanes going off, and three lanes going around. Um, <clears throat> and if you're building roundabouts, you kind of want to stick to that rule. Um, and I've gone for six lane and three lane because eh, it covers most things. So... What do we need to do? Well, the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that the priorities are correct. So you click on this little button here with the diamond, the triangle, and the stop. And you can see it's showing us the priorities. Now, Roundabout Builder has set this up for us already, and that is absolutely fantastic. Next, check your junction restrictions. Um, so you uh, want to make sure that the the, the traffic coming from this direction, this is red. This basically means they won't treat it as an intersection, they'll just keep going. Uh, and they can change lanes, that's fine. And also, make sure you disable pedestrians. So just go around and do that all the way. Uh, Roundabout Builder does not do this for you. Okay, there we go. So, traffic approaching the roundabout will have to slow down and consider what's if there's any traffic coming. But it won't have to come to a complete stop. You can include stop signs if you want, um, but they're not necessary. Giveaway is fine. But traffic on the roundabout will just keep going around and around and around. That's that's the plan. Uh, speed limits are absolutely fine. Okay. Um, actually, are they? No. So I'm just going to change the speed limit so that it's 60 miles now all the way around the roundabout. If you want to do that for a whole section of road, just hold down the shift key and that will, that will do that. Next, we need to use the lane. So the lane connector tool is what we're going to do next. And we're going to start down here. So traffic approaching the roundabout, we want them to be able to go into all three lanes. So we want this one to go to this lane. We want this to go to this lane. And we want this to go to this lane. Now, this is where things get cunning. So this lane of traffic, when it gets to here, we want it to exit. And we want it to be able to exit to any exit lane it likes this lane of traffic we want to go over here 
and this lane of traffic will want to go over here. Basically, what this means is this person here is coming out into the the inner lane of the roundabout, and they are doing that because they want to go this way. If they want to go straight on, they should go in this lane, and if they want to go right, they should go in this lane. And again, this all works the other way around if you're uh, right-hand drive traffic. So this lot should go like this. The only disadvantage here is there is crossing traffic, but remember, they should wait if there is traffic coming this way. And then repeat the process going around. So this person, we want to go there. This lane, we want to go there. This lane is for exiting. And these lanes are for, you can go anywhere you like. And then the same here. That's for exiting. That's for going there. That is for going there. And these are for going like so. Now, one of the advantages of this is it will try and it will spread the traffic out on the approach roads, um, so that you shouldn't get a big long line of traffic uh, on one particular route. Anyway, there we go, and that is what your your lane setup should look like. Lovely, um, and well, that's that's pretty much it. Um, Simple as that, really. Uh, if you want, you can uh, you you can mark on like uh, you know you can you can mark on that you want your people to do that with with the, this line mod, um, but absolutely not not essential. So you can kind of you could kind of uh, show the traffic that you want them to you want them to filter out like that. So it should work a bit like a spiral, basically. Um, that's the general idea. And if we hit unpause, uh, the traffic will take a moment. And then what we should see it doing is behaving like a bunch of complete idiots. <laughs> Why are you behaving like idiots? Okay, I think they've sorted themselves out there. Okay, so that, that car shouldn't have done that. You do get that sometimes. Like, the traffic isn't perfect in Skylines. They do misbehave. But there you can see, we, we've got it pretty much down. Um, the traffic is doing that nice kind of spirally thing. There's not a huge amount of lane changing going on. Um, it's, it's all just very, very nice. Very simple. Um, once you've set it up. And uh, it's easy for the Sims to kind of understand what's going on. You can see it's immediately cleared all of the traffic. Um, and if you go to back and check my earlier traffic light video, you can see there's nearly always traffic waiting with the traffic light. But this allows traffic to just continually just flow. Um, and the th whilst the throughput is pretty similar, this, this flow is just really, really nice. So you get lots and lots and lots of lovely flow. Um, and there's there's hardly any traffic waiting. Disadvantages of roundabouts, of course, is uh, you can't zone next to them if you use highways. You can, of course, use other roads. For instance, you could use, uh, where is it? This road, this is a workshop road, three lane, one way road. Um, if you are doing that, if you're using these types of roads, uh, do be aware that the game loves to add roundabouts sometimes, uh, roundabouts. Loves to add traffic lights at these, at the uh, entrance and exits. Do watch out for that, okay? Because um, you don't want that. But if you go for this type of road, um, which is another mod, uh, network extensions mod, then you can in fact have zoning on the inside and outside of your roundabout. But do bear in mind that when you upgrade the road like that, it it did just completely mess everything up. And I didn't mean to upgrade that road there. But you can see you can see what I mean. Um, uh, experiment, have a go, have a play around. Don't be scared of roundabouts. Um, roundabout builder really, really helps. TMP, uh, which you can use to set them up so that they actually function like a real roundabout. Um, top notch stuff. And you'll have fast flying traffic in no time. Hope you enjoyed that one, and hope to see you again soon for some more 
City Skies. Bye-bye.